What's going on, Answer, and welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling exceptional today. So, for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and shares. Your support really is just phenomenal, Cancer, and it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy how yourself has brought you here. We're in for an amazing journey. A cancer sidebar. Did you enjoy that energy of, of, of the full moon this uh, this weekend? It was fantastic. It was in Taurus. The moon loves being in Taurus after our sign, of course. <laughs> but I hope you did feel a lot of that healing energy there, Cancer, and enjoyed that. Uh, I even got, hope you got to see, uh, enjoy the eclipse too, Cancer. But the purpose of this channel, other than uh, other than the moon, but uh, it's for those of you who have Cancer in your placement. Sun, moon, rising, Mercury, wherever, Cancer. This one's for you. And I do tarot cards, but it's based off our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, when she's going to void, of course, even when she's eclipsing cancer. Just all those lunar shenanigans. <laughs> and just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take or resonates with you. Leave the rest with me. Never force a reading on the situation, and everything will be dope, cancer. <laughs> now. Let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Crystals feeling charged. Even got to leave them out in the full moon energy. That cancer got to get them that cleansing energy. Just great. Just well, it's all this energy. Great energy all around here, cancer. And cancer. Happy Moon Day. The moon rules over Mondays. Hope you're feeling intuitive, ready to just tackle the day. This is the start of your week. Happy, just get pumped there, Cancer. But also, Cancer, the moon is in Gemini. <laughs> well, depending on when you're watching this, because like, probably when I'm releasing this, the moon is like still in Taurus. I want to say she's going void, of course, until like 11.07. Something along those lines, Cancer. So, but regardless, we're giving the energy to Gemini. And with the moon being in Gemini, this, you might notice you're feeling a little bit chatty, Cancer. I mean, my moon's in Gemini and I'm just chatting all the time. Sidebar, I've been uh, using Facebook Messenger and I've been catching with some friends. And I, I send them like literally podcasts. It's, it's, a, it's a, bit, a bit obnoxious. I'm going to have to work on that. But you may notice yourself feeling, uh, yeah, just more wanting to converse, more Cancer socialize. Gemini is the sign of communication. But you may also notice too, Cancer, you might be feeling a little more, uh, a little more witty, a little more clever because Gemini is very funny and is too. They do got a great sense of humor. So, and you might just be feeling your brain turning more. So this is a great energy for studying, learning new things, and um, yeah, just gathering information, whether that be through books or talking with others, however that's looking. But you know, Cancer, this is a great energy for travel too. Now, Gemini is um, their opposite sign is Sagittarius, which is more so deals with that. Oh, look at this air energy. Hold on, Cancer. But thank you. You know, Gemini can deal where, like, Sagittarius deals with, like, travel in a sense of, like, moving from, like, your, let's say, a state to, like, a whole new, you know, continent, you know. Gemini energy is more so getting familiar with, like, your surrounding areas and kind of growing off of that. It's like, you know, let's say if you were born, I was born in Indiana. So it's like, you know, when well, I'm born in Indiana, but I was raised in Indiana. And it's like, you know, you start one thing and then just kind of expand from that. You know, that's kind of what Gemini energy does. So it's great energy for just kind of going out there, being curious, Cancer. Another great energy for that. Um, and yes, I say I think that's I'm gonna leave that for right now because we're gonna be in Gemini energy for a few days. I don't want to wear all that out. But Cancer, we still got some of that full moon energy that's going on there. And I'll tell you what, Cancer, there is. I feel like you know every full moon. I feel like every Cancerian should make it a point to at least try to get out there. You know, if you're able to see the moon wherever you're at, and just kind of just do some moon gazing. Just, just especially when she's full, because that is very healing energy, very psychic, very about inner development. You know, it can be very inspiring. You know, it's about how, you know, you're getting towards like you're halfway through like a. Um, a cycle there and things have really kind of come to fruition and it's just like really celebrating the act of manifestation when you started this thing at the beginning of the lunar cycle it was just an idea just this little seed that we were trying to figure out how this was going to look and then as it developed and as you've grown cancer it's like really 
reveling in that as well. Just celebrate because that is that really is manifestation at its finest. And I really feel too, you know, with the moon, you know, being in that full moon phase, it's like you really can feel your emotions on a full type of level there, you know, really kind of being aware of where you're at cancer, you know, like, and nothing's hidden. The moon is just, just bearing it all. So a lot of that's that sort of like, sort of vulnerability to be with yourself and it's just a very I feel a like very sacred type of energy I feel like when the moon is full so definitely when you get a chance cancer bask in the moonlight I was looking at her the other last couple of nights so Whew. all right cancer now uh, before we jump to the same last few things these readings that I do they're not gender specific readings so apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations and then the decks that I'm working with I've included links for them down in the description box below so definitely check that out if you're interested but also down below some links for some other readers that I like watching cancer so definitely check them out very fantastic group great energies that they bring so I think you would really enjoy them now let's get into your general energy of the day here cancer because look we got the lunar cycle on this card here here which is the the choice card and this is a card of life direction, how you respond, and consequences. And you know, and this is air energy, Cancer, so look at you. Always always syncing up with the energies, Cancer. But I do feel like with this energy coming through here, I feel like there is maybe for some we've been in this energy of like kind of like this like almost like void of course kind of reflective type of energy maybe you've been thinking about where your life has been going you know what you want to achieve maybe during the next lunar cycles because we're getting ready to get into the more reflective half of the of the cycle so now it's like thinking about i feel like too even even for some I feel like there is, is even this energy of how you respond to change, you know, and to the fluctuations of the moon cycle and these things that you try to incorporate. How have they and what have been the consequences of that? You know, when you're staying on track as opposed to, you know, when maybe things get out of line, how are you feeling? A lot of questions, I feel like, is, is coming up in here with this energy. And I feel like for some, though, you know, Especially when we start thinking about our life's direction and what we're trying to manifest, where we're trying to go from here. That can be a little overwhelming, especially I feel like when you allow your mind to be kind of all over the place, when the, you don't ground that energy. Because that's one thing I always talk about with if you have like Gemini placement or any kind of Mercury placement, you know, Gemini or um, Virgo in your chart that can be where it is very active very smart energy it is one that can work in overdrive because mercury is the fastest planet you know and um that can be a lot to deal with so i feel like sometimes it's just like even just writing down a list or you know making like a yeah just like a game plan i feel like there's there's just something like something to kind of need to see it out in front of you as opposed to keeping it in the ether in a sense, Cancer. And that's a great energy of manifestation too, just taking from, moving things from the dome to the home. That's a great, that's a great energy of, like how, this like, I feel like almost like a reminder that you can, you know, that you can manifest. And because those divine, those downloads and things, those inspirations, those, that's source talking with you, Cancer. And then it's like, once you get that stuff down there, then it's just like, then we're actively working with like the lunar cycles and starting to I'm actually uh, coming up on a on a lunar return here I kind of got my stuff kind of locked in and it's more so and it doesn't even whatever this direction is or how you respond to cancer it doesn't necessarily have to be something new maybe something you've been working on is still can use some improvement it's just like what choices can we make to even so like make that thing stick further and I even feel like for some in a sense but this is giving me this is giving me very lovers type of energy here, Cancer, where it's just like thinking about how your actions improve, get you towards life get you towards your life's direction. And when we're getting towards those times of like celebration, are we celebrating? Because the moon the full moon can also be an energy of regret as well. And it's just like maybe we wish we would have went about things a little bit differently, you know, like, but it's not to meant to stay in that regret. It's to just let that be a lesson and turn that regret into wisdom and even turn the celebration into wisdom. But let's get, um, let's get some tarot on this cancer.
<laughs> That's a thinking queen right there. <laughs> I like that stuff. Alright, thank you. Right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, all right, Cancer. That's a thinking couple right there. <laughs> okay, so you have the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands in reverse. And then you have the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and then the King and Queen of Swords here, Cancer. And that's a really strong start here, Cancer. And even King of Swords, that's Gemini energy for me. King, Queen of Swords is Libra. And I feel Cancer. They're, oof. So I do feel like for some that it's like with the Queen of Swords, we might need, it's like we're looking for clarity in a sense. And I do feel there is a need to, because this Four of Pentacles, I feel like for some was giving, giving me this energy of, again, this sort of like grounding type of energy because the pentacles can deal with just more than finances. They can deal with like your um, your health, your manifestation, material possessions. And I feel like it's that manifestation that's coming into that, really being grounded in how your choices can... Because the, the four of pentacles can also be like a card of savings. And I feel like it's like take how your choices and the wisdom that you get from your choices, king of swords here, how we can deposit that into our life savings in a sense there, cancer, the savings of our journey, you know, the choices that we make. Because the two of wands, you know, the twos are about choices and the wands deal with energy. So it's just like seeing how certain choices affect your energy and if it's not resonating with you or you find that it's something that's taking away from you then it's like that's where that readjustment kind of comes in it's like being very I feel like there's this especially with these two king queen of swords here there's this extra mindfulness that is coming through here and you know really taking because ours is a sign of the past too cancer and I feel like, but it's not meant to stay there, but it is, uh, I feel like, an ability to call upon that, to just remember how a certain thing made you feel, and if it was if it was in your highest purpose, and if not, tweak something a little bit here. And, but I do feel, too, with this Five of Pentacles here, Cancer, that for some, there is this energy of not not being afraid of making a decision for the fear of I feel like of losing something in a sense it's like we may be holding too hard on to this four of pentacles here if it's like it's like you know you're accumulating all this money kind of building things up but we're not doing anything we're just like just getting money for money's sake as opposed to getting out there and enjoying it you know like there's and again of course there's that balance that comes with that but there, yeah, it feels like even like there's a fear or like a, of even pursuing things just because we may think that it's just all going to be just gone tomorrow even. And so yeah, pay attention to how you respond to that, that too as well, Cancer. But, hmm. All right, interesting start there, Cancer. But I feel like asking these questions of you really helps you to move in this journey more mindfully, you know, and just with with a lot more intention. I, I like that those two uh, that those two came out here with this all this air energy. But yeah, let's get some more on this cancer. And I feel like too. I even was just thinking, you know, just just talking about that there are consequences to our actions and to our inactions cancer you know even if you don't choose to not do anything then that just means again the energy is not going anywhere so that's something to even to even think about but thank you let me see what's going on here oh all right cancer so small little reversal storm here. You have the uh, the sun card, the ta uh, excuse me, the sun card, the king of wands, and then the four of cups in reverse, and then you have the tower upright here, Cancer, and I 
I feel with the it's it's interesting with this King of Wands and in the in the Tower energy being here. Because I feel like for some it's like we may not know what direction we may want to go possibly with this King of Swords being here. And I feel that it's like we're we're sort of like just standing, we're just at a standstill or we're just doing... <sighs> it's not necessarily that we don't care, Cancer, but it, it almost feels like that with the Four of Cups being in reverse, that there's this... It's like we have choices, but maybe they're not the ones that you want. And so we're, we're allowing ourselves to just kind of almost like ignore the those sort of like signs and things that the universe is kind of giving you. And I feel like if we keep ignoring that cancer, then that's how tower moments happen. Because I feel like, and then guess not to get you scared, cancer, because the towers are meant to be like a change of... You know, when a foundation's not feeling weak, it's meant to shine a light and get more clarity. Because you got a lot of strong signs of cl or energies of clarity here, but the sun in reverse is not. I feel like we're not seeing maybe some, maybe a choice that may not be as ideal in the short term that may be more beneficial in the long term. But it's like maybe for some we have to choose to wait for to do something as opposed to like forcing the energy possibly that makes sense. Or maybe it's like we want to, hmm, I think I'm gonna pull a little bit more on, let me get a little bit more with this uh, sun card here, Cancer. It even feels like maybe there have even been these challenges that have been happening with the tower here lately that have in this and it's just like maybe we're having troubles understanding what these like why this energy has gotten here hmm and and what the purpose is it's just like there, there's, because the sun card here, Cancer, is clarified by the Hanged Man and the Six of Cups in reverse. And so I feel there is something with maybe like a past situation that happened with the Six of Cups here. And it was not meant to, it's like for some, we may be with the the sun being reversed, we're not seeing it for the blessing that it, it is. You know, maybe right now we're just seeing how it's just how things may have like, either slowed you down in a sense or maybe just like it's not getting you to where you want but I do feel like if you were to sit and just kind of reflect on these experiences that have happened it would bring about this level of clarity with the queen of swords and then you can how you can take that clarity and this knowledge apply it to the king of swords get that that enlightenment with the hanged man being in reverse and it changes how you respond going forward from here as opposed to maybe being in this sort of like reactive energy with the king of wands and just trying to like force things along here cancer so yeah, i hope that that makes sense cancer because I think I'm gonna put that there. Because everything is meant, and it may not even feel like it in the in the moment, Cancer. And believe me, I've I've, I've we, we've all I feel like I've been there at some point where it's just like it's you know everything happens in divine timing and it's all meant for your higher purpose. But sometimes it can be hard to see that when when you maybe had like a certain outcome you were expecting you were so you know really kind of put all your bank into that and now it's like time to reevaluate in a sense so but let's get some uh let's get some advice from mercury I do feel with that Tower 2 Cancer, it's like, I, I feel like that the direction of your life might, for some might be, I mean, for all of us, it does always change, but I do feel like that there's a change coming, and it's like, it's one of those things that is, it, it may not make sense in that moment, oh, there's, there's, there we are, Cancer, it may not make sense in the, in the moment, but 
Yeah, just like it all comes together. Oh, cancer, it all comes together in the end because there we are. <sighs> cancer. So you have so you have us, the Queen of Cups in reverse here, Cancer. But you also have us here, the Chariot, Cancer. And then so you got the Chariot, uh, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and then the Ten of Pentacles up right here. And then let's uh let's switch back over here, Cancer. Because I do feel, Cancer, that either for some, it's like that this tower moment is... And the tower doesn't necessarily have to be like a situation has just like, you know, like everything's just collapsed, Cancer. This could even be like even like our, like a way our thinking has maybe been changed. And there's something about needing to kind of process what's maybe happened here with the Queen of, um, with the Queen of Cups being in reverse. That's a big self-care energy, especially when she's in reverse. And... You know, the Queen of Cups, she's the type that she values all of her experiences that happen through life. Because one, they make her a better empath. And two, it helps her to spread that compassion to others, you know. Because it, it, it makes her just a really great teacher. And, you know, there are going to be, you know, a lot of moments, I feel. Now, hopefully not a lot of cancer. But there are going to be moments where we do feel like that things are, we've kind of hit a bottom here. Or that we've, you know, that things that may disappoint us or that don't quite go as we had planned. You know, we pictured, I'll tell you what, cancer, if you'd asked me what Ten of Pentacles looked like for me 10 years ago, it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have told you I'd be here. But... Life is interesting that way. That journey has all these changes and things. They have a meaning. And they all, again, in the present, it may not make, or in that moment, it may not make sense. But I feel like, again, as you just sort of, like, really start to sit with the stem, evaluate your 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 choices in life, how the consequences that they've brought, and, and then learn more about how you respond in the future it really brings about i really feel like it makes this journey go by a lot smoother even when you got tower moments that come through you you're able to anticipate them better and be more proactive as opposed to being reactive cancer so and it's just like how we you know we're an interesting sign being ruled by the moon because you know she's in she's the fastest luminary you know, of, of everyone. She's, she's, she's the busiest one, you know, moving different phases, do different signs. And it's just like, we have, it's, it's, it's hard to pinpoint how we're feeling at a full moon in Gemini than when we're in a waning gibbous in Gemini or a balsamic moon in Gemini or a waxing crescent in Gemini, you know, it's, it's very different. So, but you start again, reflecting on these energies, you just get, Things become a lot clearer with the sun card here. You're operating your, your masculine and feminine energies here in point king, queen of swords. And just so like you're off to the races there, Cancer Chariot. <sighs> All right, Cancer, I think I'm going to leave that there. So if, um, if any of that resonated with you, Cancer, if you like that, give it a thumbs up. And share this, Cancer, because maybe for some I feel like that we've... And maybe for some it's like there there's energies like we may be ignoring even some choices that need to be made or... Yeah, just be mindful of that, Cancer. And then subscribe there, Chariot. Hit that bell button to get notified on all these videos each day. And then last little bit, Cancer, for your readings, check your sun, your moon, your rising or so called your ascendant sign, Cancer, and your Venus placement. But Cancer, just check your chart. I've been, um, I actually found a new resource not too long ago. I might actually include that one in the description box. It's fantastic. But, um, I have some, I got a couple apps down there, Cancer, that if you want to check out, they're really cool. I think you'd, uh, learn, help you learn a lot about yourself. Then come over to my other channel, Alchemist Date. I do, uh, weekly videos there, monthly ones, yearly ones. It's a good old time, Cancer. And all that housekeeping is down in the description box below. But let me get surprise cards here. So I can get you out of here, a little master intuitive. Look at you, Hierophant. Got the Hierophant here, Cancer. Taurus energy. And we just had that full moon in Taurus, Cancer. But with the, with the Hierophant, I do feel that there is this... Because the Hierophant is that... That, that that's I was supposed to say sensei energy and I like that that's that sensei energy cancer <laughs> it's uh he's the type that it's like that divine wisdom and 
he's a bridge between the the heavenly planes and the in the material um plane here cancer and i do feel that it's just like as we get he he gives me it's just like this is like the culmination of of wisdom that comes through this journey here cancer it's like this is like life kind of teaching us in the sense with the higher foot being here in order to help us become teachers for others in a sense you know it's but it's like in order to be able to pass about these experiences you know with the queen of cups we have to have we have to go through this journey you know really kind of go through some things to really i feel like kind of understand what's happening here so hmm And, and I hope you understand what I mean by this cancer, but I do feel that there is even this energy of there's going to be this almost like this acceptance type of energy. And let me get your Oracle card of again, it's the choices that you've made that have got you to this point, even though there are times where it can feel like that life has happened to you. You made a choice that got you to a situation that you're in, and not that I say you deserve any sort of like any sort of like horrific thing, you know, anything like tough energies that do come your way. But it's just like, why did this experience happen? You know, process it as it makes sense. Oh, I hope that makes sense, but it's like processing it as it makes sense, but knowing that, hmm, yeah, hold on, Cancer, because you got the got the sage card here which is the card of blessings and it's ruled by the moon and jupiter and that all these decisions that you made thus far even the ones where we felt we were we were at rock bottom were a blessing in a sense because it helped us expand in a deeper type of way you know it just like it unlocked yeah just just a lot more in us cancer and i feel like it reminds us too i because i love how these two are kind of like spirits sitting in front of this uh in front of this uh not even fire the spiritual fire that's going on here's this this cleansing that's going on and i feel like it almost helps you kind of disconnect in a sense from this vehicle from this vessel and just kind of see how this experience is going to help you grow i hope i do I do hope that makes sense. And even the sixth card here, or with it being the sixth card, that's leverage energy, Cancer. And look, full moon here, all these lunar shenanigans. Things all line up in divine time in Cancer. So, yeah, hopefully that uh, that translated well. But you stay safe out there, Cancer. With all these choices that you're making and questioning life's direction and how you respond to life, that's... Um, yeah, just pay attention to that cancer, and I feel like that uh, kind of eases the journey up a little bit. You keep eyes on the moon, the old Rhonda. You keep eyes on the moon, cancer, whenever you get a moment, you know, just kind of bask under that healing energy and, you know, med meditate under the moon, you know, kind of send your concerns and, and thanks and, and all of that to, to Luna and, hmm, love that cancer, and I will catch you on the next one tomorrow.